Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. In today's video I'm gonna share with you my top three favorite fragrances of this Italian niche perfume house that is called Vucanto. I hope I pronounced the name of this house correctly and if I'm not, then you will find all the information about the fragrance that we are gonna talk about today in my description box down below. I have already reviewed quite a few fragrances of this house, so if you're interested in that video, you will also find a link to it in my description box. So this brand has two collections, this dark blue collection and also the red collection. The fragrances of the blue collection are unisex, a little bit more on the masculine side, and the fragrances of the red collection are more on the feminine side. And I have a beautiful discovery kit of a blue collection and I decided to share with you my top three favorite fragrances, so maybe if you're interested in this brand, you can just check them out first. And let's start with my number um, three, and this front is called Iraya. This front is absolutely beautiful, it is warm and spicy, it opens with beautiful note of cacao, it has also beautiful uh, strong tonka bean in the opening, and we have also bergamot, but it is overwhelmed by those intense notes. As the front develops, it gets even more spicy because of warm wood, which is strong and intense here. Then we also have pepper, coriander, and also very unusual note of hot iron. When I saw that note, I got really excited, but I don't smell anything unnatural here. It is very nicely blended ferns. And as it comes to the base, it gets more woody because of oak, palisandro, um, rosewood as well as uh, the note of amber. So this fragrance is definitely on the masculine side and it is very warm and spicy. That's where I think uh, the perfect time to wear it is winter or just when it is cold. So yeah, it has really nice longevity. It is very noticeable, so it will be too much for spring and summer, but for uh, winter just right. We're moving on to the second uh, favorite of mine. It is called Enzis. And Enzis is completely different from the previous perfume. It is green, fresh, and crispy. It opens with beautiful green elements. Then we have also black currant leaf as well as bergamot and subtle flower pansy. Uh, the scent of pansy is very very soft, so it is not uh, too much and the opening is much more fresh and green than floral, but as the fragrance develops, more flowers are coming through. We have rose, lilies of the valley, we have also lilac and black currant. And if you are thinking that this fragrance is floral and feminine, then you are wrong, because even though we have a few flowers here, they are on the fresh, light side, and that's where this is truly unisex as the ferns comes to the base, it gets more musky, we have patchouli, we have also a little bit of amber, cacao, musk and uh, metallic notes in the base. These ferns will be perfect to wear when it is warm or really hot outside. If you like uh, fresh, green, crispy scents, then you will love this one as well. It smells like spring and it will be awesome to wear uh, to formal occasions like work or classes. Love this fragrance a lot, and even though this is on the light side, it also has a really beautiful longevity. So now we're moving on to my number one, and this perfume is called Mirabelle. I hope I pronounced it correctly, and this is all about vanilla. We have vanilla in the top and in the base. In the top we have also some balms, like Poponax, we have also the note of malt. It is a very gourmand scent, it is also sweet. Um, then we have also the note of milk, which is noticeable here. It provides beautiful, really milky gourmand texture. Then a beautiful boozy element that comes from room. We have a bit of lavender that is kind of like noticeable and not at the same time. We have also geranium here. And in the base we have vanilla once again, then we have patchouli, we have amber seed and musk as well as tonka bean. So this fragrance is definitely about vanilla. It is a very strong, intense gourmand scent. If you like vanilla and gourmand perfumes, you will love this one. And I think the perfect time to wear um, Mirabelle is when you're going out with your friends, because this scent has really strong projection and uh, likability. So when people will smell it, they will really adore it and maybe uh, make you some compliments. And that was all from me, guys. If you enjoyed watching this uh, video, then please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and we will see each other in my next one really soon.